Oh, right, hello everybody, what's going on? It is Mark here from youtube.com slash techytutorials bringing you the very best in Sony Vegas tutorials, effects, and all that jazz. Now today, what I have for you is what I like to call the taxi cab transition effect. So I've noticed this in several movies and TV shows lately, and I think it's a pretty cool effect. Very easy to implement, especially in Vegas, using some masking. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd make a tutorial for you guys. So, what I have is, we have our original clip here with two cars. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a mask around this car here. And I'm going to keep this car in the shot, so in the clip. And then transition into the, the second clip in the background. So what I mean is, we this original clip, this is our car. As you can see here in the background, I'm changing into the second clip, see? So I'm using just a nice uh, left to right transition here. But I'm keeping the car in the clip, just using a simple mask. The car is going to exit the clip, and then bam, we're into our second clip. <laughs> okay, I've said clip a lot of times there, but... Sorry about that, hopefully it makes sense. So as we run through, we just got a car here, we're keeping this in the shot, then our second clip is in the background, okay, and our mask and the car is disappearing. Right, so it just makes for a nice quick transition, and um, I've actually noticed it a lot in TV shows, movies, stuff like that, so I decided, hey, let's give it a shot. So, very easy to do. As you can see on our top track here, what I've done is I've created a mask around the car. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. The second track is simply our second clip, and then on the bottom is just our original clip. Okay, so the car is without any masking done or anything like that. All right, so first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is go into a new project. However, if you're implementing this into a current project, there's no need to do this. Right, now what you want to do is you want to open up your footage of the original clip. So I've got my car footage here, and this is thanks to Thirst67. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but um, he was kind enough to let me use this footage for the tutorial and it's actually perfectly shot footage for what I'm looking for. So big thank you to you sir, I really appreciate it. Alright, so here we go, and bam. Right, so I, this is my original clip here, okay. Now the next thing I'm going to be doing is masking. Now if you are unfamiliar with masking, I'm going to explain, um, you know, using my voice through this microphone on exactly what I'm doing. However, I'm going to put that in a separate video because when I do that in this video, it just takes forever. Uh, it takes a long time. So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and speed up all the masking. If you don't know what I'm doing and you're watching it, feel free to just click that video in the description. It's the exact same video, but you're going to be listening to me explaining what's going on instead of the music blaring in your ears. <laughs> all right. So as you can see, I have my clip here on a single video track on its own. I'm going to right click and duplicate that video track. So now we have the original, which is on the top track here. Just notice that, tied with the audio in a group. And then this is our copy. So I want to put my copy on top. So I'm just going to click and drag the video track. Bam, there we go. And this is what we're going to be masking on, okay, our copy. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. But as I said, if you don't know what's going on, feel free to share out the other video. Oh right, so I've just finished the masking, and as you can see I've got a rough mask around the car here. Spend as much time as you want on it, <laughs> try to make it not look so choppy like mine. You know, the more time you spend on it, the more effort you put in, the more you're going to notice it in your effect. So my mask is pretty rough, but you get the general idea. And just add a nice feather and adjust the settings to your liking. Now, so if I unmask this, what I have here is just a normal clip. You can't even notice it because of the mask added in, we don't have a second clip. So what we need to do is we're going to right click and insert a new video track and we're going to want that between the original and then the mast, okay? So now you just click and drag in the clip you want to transition into, so your second clip. I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of the audio track, I don't need that. And whatever clip you're transitioning into, grab that and pop it in beneath your mask. Now what you're going to notice is um, you can see the clip right here behind your car. So we're just going to get rid of this for a second, right? So 
You want to see the mask, and you want to tell me where you want it to pop in. Okay, or you want to tell yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and say, you know, I want the original footage maybe to here, and then I'm going to try and get this to, you know, transition in. I'm going to use a gradient wipe. I'm going to go ahead and use left to right to go with the direction of the car. Pop that in. And just by default, let's have a look at what this is like, right? So it's way too slow, right? So we're going to edit the transition time. Now, if you can't see it, just go ahead and zoom in in your timeline. Use your mouse wheel or the little buttons on the bottom right of the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and make this a lot faster. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, let's see, faster, faster. I might make it start a small bit earlier. So car here, that's a bit too fast for me. Oops, ladies, fade in. Right. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. The clip sliding in there from the side and then car out. So if we look at what we have here, car coming in, background changing, car and second clip. So very easy to do. Now, what you can also do is you can go ahead and mess around with your transitions for the background clip. Now, you could also, if you wanted to see the way we have the space between the roof and the top of the screen here, if you zoomed in or if you had footage of the car where there was no space between the hood or the, excuse me, the top of the car and the top of the screen. So basically you could zoom in and what you could do is instead of having it transitioning in here in the back where you could see it all you're gonna see is the car here zooming past and then here at the back with your mask you're gonna see the new clip okay it's basically like the top would be cut off here you're just gonna see the back there so it's gonna go woo car flies past the second scene okay that's pretty popular as well so let's just have a look at our finished products we scroll through here first clip bam second clip in the background bam there we go so what I was saying <laughs> Um, maybe a bit complicated to you guys as I try to explain it with the let me just solo on this here so if you had footage like this okay so the car actually takes up the full screen that's that that's pretty ideal footage you can also zoom in like I did here and then edit your footage so basically you're gonna have the mask coming here and then the transition will look like that instead of showing the top also which I think actually might look a bit neater thinking about it now. So yeah, um, feel free to mess around with that. Obviously, you know, I did what I did my effect in a few minutes. Uh, the tutorial took longer. Obviously, I had to explain it to you guys. But um, you know, pretty pretty easy to do. I think it's a pretty cool effect. I hope the masking went down well. If it didn't, as I said, check out the other video I'm going to put up. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Hit me up with any requests you have. Uh, any cool effects like this or similar that you see in movies that you want to know how to do and uh, I'll try and hop on it and get them out to you guys. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. This has been Mark. Peace.